Hello there, how are you? This is Rosa Rubia Giotta coming from with RCG Creations. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be showing, I uh, was given us a swap and this one is from the Quality Crafts Facebook site and it's called the April, excuse me, the April Envelope Challenge and the way it works is somebody from the group sends you this package of stuff and you make whatever it is that you want out of it and you can use it how you want. So um, you create your own, you bring, you supply your own base card, and they uh, they brought gave me this little, uh, which is pretty. So it's a sea creature stuff, sea theme, and then this little tag message. You can tell she cut it off. Uh, it looks like it's a scrapbook. Uh, graphic, oh, it's graphic forty five unique paper crafting. So it was bits and pieces, but it's a, a, a sea theme, and it says you, me. Let's see, you, me, and the sea. That's kind of nice, isn't it? And then she gave me, this is a sticker. It's a tag sticker. And then this piece of ribbon. So I'll bring you right back. I'm going to put this together. And I'm going to definitely really try to stay under 15 minutes. But I'm going to be adding stuff. So I'm going to bring you, come up, uh, I'll be back. See you in just a bit. Okay, great. I'm back. What I did was this card base is I went ahead and embossed it with this uh, paper studio called A2 Lines and Dots embossing folder. Here it is. And so I embossed it. So now what I'm going to do on the front is I got my Wendy Vecchi station here so I don't have to worry about any ink parts. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I need to get my washi. Uh, let's see. Because I want to make sure that I don't have any ink going on the back here. So let me get my washi out here. And I reuse my washi until there's no more sticky. So let me just put this in here. Get it as close. Uh, this is two layers. And I'm going to get it as close to the bend without going over. just use the excess washi to keep it down but I'm going to still double secure it with my magnets okay now what I'm going to be doing is I'm using the distress inks this one is faded jeans and then what I'm using is the sponges because this is an embossed raised edge and I only want to ink the top layer I don't want the whole thing so I'm using these um, Darcy foam ink pods uh, they're they're ma they're made to be used on embossed cards. See, that's what they look like. And this is the case that they came in. And then I use a sharpie and I write on the back of them. That way I don't tr um, contaminate any inks. But I still like to stay in the same color family. This one, as you can see, I didn't write down the name, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> but there was one. Let's see. Yeah, this is close enough to, this is the Faded Jeans Distress Sink. Okay, so this is the one that goes with this one. So I got the right one. Let me put this one back. And then whenever I'm doing a, a little small pieces, I cut this in half so I can get more control by just using a smaller portion. So I get less col uh, color on the areas that I don't want color to be on. That's just a little tip there. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so you just dab it. It's just like using a sponge or a brush or uh, a, another, any other uh, ink stamping tool. So I'm getting the ink on there. And you just do it very, very lightly. Because all you want to do is want to get the ink on the raised edges only. I'm just going to continue because, you know, in the ocean, you've got some dark spots and you've got some light spots. I'm not going to be overly like, oh, I don't want to make it perfect because Rosa doesn't do perfect. I like to, and some things I'm really good at and some things I'm not. And I'm learning this inking stuff. 
I've been doing it for a couple of years, so actually several years, but these are new techniques that I'm learning as I'm watching others do their stuff on YouTube. And as you can see, with a light touch, I'm inking the raised edges. I'm going to turn this around because that's where the ink is at. Because I really want to get a more. To see how I just added more ink. Let me get back. I'm hoping you're, I'm in focus there. Let me get it. Make sure that I'm in focus. Okay, yeah, I'm in focus. Okay. Hopefully, sometime soon, I'll get a nicer camera that's going to allow me to see as I'm working. But you know what? It's like you work with what you have and it's all workable. And I, you still, I still get the main point across. I just want to make these, I'm just, you can see where the ink is at, where you're adding more, even though you put it on top because this is a rounded edge, only certain parts, that's because you, without you realizing you're adding more pressure to one side versus the other side. And that's just human nature until you learn to control it and if you pay attention to when you're dabbing uh, the sponge and the ink you'll feel it and you'll notice how you're adding more pressure to one side but that's okay because with me I'm, I want that because I want to have more control over the sponge because you can see where I uh, got ink on the inside but I'm okay with that because I'm going to go back with a different color. And you know the ocean is all different shades. It's not just one solid color. And you see that? I was paying attention to that circle. But I overstepped and I inked this part right in here that wasn't supposed to be. But that's alright because I'm okay with that. Because, like I said, I am going to go over the whole thing with a whole different color. Another shade of blue. Just a different shade. And I'm going to be using my uh, makeup brushes for that. Because I don't, I don't really want... I want some white, but I don't want a lot of white. So now I'm just going to go over. I'm still doing a very light... Even though I'm going kind of fast, I'm only doing a very, very light touch. Because that's all I want. I just want to accent the uh, edges of the embossed, the embossed edges. And that's all I want to do. But I want to get it all. Oh, there I go. I did it again. Missed that. Put too much pressure. I'm going a little too fast. This is one thing that definitely takes practice. But after two or three times, you get the, you get the swing of it. And you get the feeling of... How it's done okay and I'm pretty much happy and complete with that so let's close this one up and again that was the distress ink from Tim Holtz it's called the faded jeans so I'm gonna put that back now I want I'm gonna try to stay with my distress ink instead of my oxides you know what I want to go I'm still to go with the blue I'm gonna go with a different shade of green okay yeah let me go with a different shade of green and these are the minis here's the minis and I just keep them in the little tin for easy transportation so I don't lose them I don't really want this kind of want this dark green but I, you know what I don't know what it's gonna look like so I'm gonna get me a scrap piece of paper that's one thing you always want to do, is until you know for sure. Let me move this over just a little bit. Is get it on a, just a scrap piece of paper. and This is another way I clean my uh, sponges off, just the XX ink. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another sponge. That was a dark green. This one's called Pine Needle. And I don't think I have that, but I have this one 
that's close enough in the family. I need to get buy some more of these. I actually have two more big cases of this, but for the life of me, I can't find out where I put them. I don't know where they're at. I've gone through everything. At least I think I've gone through everything. I don't think I gave them to anybody, but I'm almost positive I've got two of these somewhere. I just don't know where. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Now I just want to see... how that green and you see how the green and the blue are going to mix together and it's a little too darky green for me it's for just for me and my taste it's a little too dark green okay so let's go with another green let me try this it's called moved mowed lawn oh and I think that's what this one this bunch was belongs to it's called where was it Okay, let's see. Well, I lost the. Oh, here it is, the partner. Oh, it was a. Uh, oh, it was on the. Gr oh, that's right. I have another set of inks, but they're not distressed, so that's okay. I'm not gonna go with that. I want to stay with the same ink family, only because it's on the same project. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. See how that down here. It's a lot more like a grass. This looks like it's called mow grass. Mowed? Mowed? Oh no, this one, yeah. This one is called Mowed, M O W E D. Mowed Lawn. <laughs> Let me turn that around so you can see it. It's called Mowed Lawn. Okay, so now I'm going to do that on the inside. And I'm just going to ink. And I'm going to be sporadic. I'm not in any motion in any certain way. And I want some white spots here and there. And I want some color spots here and there. Um, I'm just being very sporadic. And again, I'm doing a light touch. I'm not putting a lot of heavy weight to this. But I'm trying to stay just in the green. That's why I use the, the narrow. I cut the sponge in half. I don't want to go over the blue. I just want to get the white in between the blue. And I'm using the excess ink that's already on the sponge to get more of a look. Let me finish this part off over here. And I want to do the edges. Okay. Now I'm going to move these magnets because they're in my way. And then let's look and do down in here on this end. I want, like again, like I said, I want some white, but I don't want a whole lot of white. I just wanted to give us a, a nice theme of green. And you know how in the deep ocean, at least I've never, I don't know from a, from first experience, I just know from watching movies and watching TV, in the deep ocean you've got your little dark spots and you've got your lighter spots. So I'm trying to get as real as I can. But when you're making your own card, you're using your own creativity. And this is where you can let your imagination go crazy. And you get to do... And you see where I had missed the, those spots where I smudged? Nobody even knows that they're, not, they're now like they were intended to be there. And again, I'm still trying to stay away from the blue as much as I can and just ink on the white and stay off the blue so I don't ruin that color effect. And I was a little heavy handed there on that spot. You see that right there, that spot? It was a little heavy handed, but that's okay because I'm going to do some more heavy handed areas here. And I think, I think I like that, just the way that is. 
So let me close this up. Put this back in my tin. My OCD kicks in, so <laughs> I carry my tins by color coding. So they stay in the color family. Like here's another tin with the distress. And I got my browns and I got my blues. My different shades of blue. I know there's more colors, but this is just all I have so far. I will be getting more. I just don't have them yet. And... I will put all that away in a minute. But I definitely need to get this out of the way. Since I travel to crops a lot, I put all my inks in cases that are easy to transport until I crop. And I have a little, little uh, rolly cart that holds, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six different trays. So I can have six different items in there. That's just my ink trace. Okay, so let's get back to the main project here. So now I'm going to take away this magnet. Let's reveal. Let's hopefully I did a good job. Yay! I set this tape to the side. I'll put it on my roll later. I don't want this video to go too. Oh, oh you know what? I could hear it. I, I got, it got stuck. And it's pulling up the cardstock. That tells me this is not. I thought this is my 110 Nina cardstock, but apparently it's not. So, as you can see, I ripped it. Let me get my little baby scissors. And I'm just going to trim that away. And I save that. Put that in the garbage. And there is the front of the card. Turned out pretty cute. So now I'm just going to add my pieces and I'm going to be doing this in layers with my ATG gun. And I could do, I could do that side or I can do that side, but I kind of like that dark blue side better. So I'm going to go with the dark blue and I'm just going to put adhesive on all four sides. Because that's just what Rosa does. I know other people don't. But I really like a uh, tight fit. Because most of my projects end up getting shipped in the mail. They travel all over the world. So you never know. This is summertime here. Almost summertime. Actually, you know what? That's taking up an awful lot of that space. I need to cut that card down. Only I'm not going to do it with my trimmer. Because it's going to get stuck. Because I got wet adhesive on there. So... I really like that scenery. I don't want to ruin that part of it. And you see how I like the, I guess these are called jellyfish? I think these are called jellyfish. Yep. So, you know what I'm going to do with the old fashioned stuff. I'm sure a lot of, some of you have these, you know, these decorative scissors. Whoops. You see this de set of decorative scissors? Oh, I bought these in the bought these like that, and they come with these little grommets so I can hang them. But because I travel to so many crops a month, I just take them with me. So, but I'm gonna do look for a wave, and I'm gonna make cut it out by hand. Let's look for a wave. Ooh, that looks pretty good right there. And then I just roll mine up. And I have this little uh, three-tier cart right here next to my desk. And there's where they store and they sit there. So, let's see. I'm going to just cut about... I don't really... I want that whole jellyfish to be there. This part I can go ahead and cut off. I'm okay with that. And I'm just going to eyeball this. And trim this away because I want to get as much. I want to see the background that we just inked as much as possible. And that's going to go in the garbage. But I want to do all the edges. So that one I'm just going to do the end, trim the edges just enough so you can see the design of the cut of the scissors. 
<laughs> you can see where it's sticking. The adhesive is sticking to the scissors. But hey, it works. You know it works. It's good adhesive. That ATG is good for you. Uh, adhesive. Okay. There's that. Let's move these out of the way. I'll clean those out later because I want to double check it for any adhesive residue. Okay, and you know sometimes when you do the decorative scissors, you get this little part where it didn't trim all the way. Just pull that off. Until, because I just don't want to see any white in here. Okay, so let's set this right here. Sorry about that. That ding, ding, ding is my phone. Didn't realize it was on. But I'm going to go ahead and use those same decorative scissors. And I'm going to cut the rest of this so it all has the same theme. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm just going to cut right here. I'm not going to worry about that trim that's already on the pattern. And I think I'm going to raise this, pop this up with foam dies. Uh, double sided adhesive raise it up a little bit make it more layers okay I'm going to put this on the inside of the car because I don't want to take away from that that's the focal point so actually I'm not going to put this up on foam I'm just going to stick this on there. And then I got I have to use my tag and I got to use my ribbon. And I think I'm going to use the ribbon on the front with the tag. I think that's what I'm going to do. You and me in the sea. Okay. Okay, I like that. Now this is a sticker. So let me get my pokey tool. Take out the sticker part. This is going to get stuck, but I want to put some ribbon. I'm going to use this ribbon. Because a part of the challenge on this swap, well, it's not really a swap, it's just part of a challenge. Is you have to use all the stuff that was sent to you. You can add to it, but you got to use it all. So. And. I'm not going to do a bow on that one. I'm just going to make it cut this down. There's my little bow there, and then I'm going to put this, I really want, I really, really want that jelly part, jellyfish part, but since I have to use this, I'm just going to put it here to the side, it's going to cover most of that embellishment, but you know, that's what it is. Okay, there is my finished card. So it's layered, it's inked, got a little ribbon, and there's the inside message. Kind of cute. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit like and share and subscribe. We'd love to hear some comments from you. We thank you and have a great day, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.